I'm going to be pumped and excited for the fight and uh, come Saturday, yeah, you know, I'll, like I always do, I put leave everything on the line and go out there and put on a good show. Ja, wir stehen ja bei der Pressekonferenz zu UFC und Fuel TV 5. Neben mir steht einer der sicherlich beliebtesten Briten hier auf der Karte, Brad One Punch Pickett, der am kommenden Samstag gegen Yves Jambois in den Käfig steigen wird. Brad, uh, you'll be making your third appearance in the Octagon this coming Saturday. Uh, it could be your first UFC win in England. How do you feel now? Well, at the moment, I'm still cutting weight, so I'm not like, woo, amazing. But uh, come Friday after I weigh in, I'm going to be pumped and excited for the fight and uh, come Saturday, yeah, you know, I'll, like I always do, I put leave everything on the line and go out there and put on a good show. You have a rough weight cut? No, this one's been actually not too bad, but none of them are easy, you know. I used to fight at 55 and then I fought at 45 for ages and so when I fought in the WEC I went to 35 and then I carried it on to the UFC. They're not easy, it's not, not, tell me someone who enjoys cutting weight and I'll show you a liar, it's like, it's not enjoyable, but it's part of the job, and you get more experience and get better at it. And uh, actually, this time round, I don't have as much to lose as I have done in the past, so it's not as too bad. So I'm not as grumpy as I can be. Sounds good. Um, you'll be facing Yves Jabois from Canada. He's a good striker too, so it will be a matchup between two great strikers. How do you see the fight uh, play out? Um, to be honest, it'll be. Uh, I think it'll be back and forth. It definitely won't be one-sided on either way. You know, we're both very. I believe good guys in our weight division uh, and we're both very well-rounded so don't, don't be surprised if he tries to take me down don't be surprised if I take him down and vice versa you know I believe we both have the skills to fight anywhere so like, if he gets rocked with a shot he's gonna want to take me down if I get rocked I'm gonna try and take it you know that's how the fight goes that's MMA you know yeah, it would have been my next question I mean a takedown could very well make the difference in this fight between two great strikers right? yeah of course there's like I don't class myself as a striker anymore. I class myself as a mixed martial artist. I made that mistake when I fought Hernan Burrell. I went out there knowing the guy was really good on the, really slick on the floor, and all I did is wanted to stand up and bang with him. And at the end of the day, end of the day, it, it you know, came back to haunt me. Where I saw within that fight there was chances to take him down, and uh, you know, I didn't take him. And so I thought it was stupid when I, when I look back on it. Uh, so this time, you know, and always, you know, I'm a mixed martial artist stand up on the floor, wherever it goes, I'm comfortable. Yeah, speaking of Hannah Barrao, uh, it was your first opponent in the UFC, you came up short that night, now he's the UFC Bantamweight champion. Does this put this loss in perspective, kind of, uh, in a way? Um, yes. Soft in the loss, so to speak? Yeah, yeah. No, not really. Loss is a loss for me. I, I hate losing against, against anybody, you know. It's, I, I'm in the sport not just to make up the numbers, I want to be someone. So uh, with doing that, you need to keep winning. Obviously, yeah, it's good that you know I got beat by Hannah Brown. He's gone on to beat into him, belt, beat beating good people because it gives yeah, makes it yeah. Of course, you, you don't want to see a guy who beats you going to get pasted by everyone. So yeah, I know. But for me, I'm a very competitive person, and I, I want to win all my fights. Let's say you beat Jabbar this Saturday and rack up one or two good losses. The bantamweight division is not too deep at the moment. Would you like to have a rematch against Barrar in the future if it will materialize? Yes, and to be honest, I'm one of those people, I don't really look for rematches too much, win or lose, you know, because uh, there's so many people you want to, you know, I want to fight different people every time, but if there's a carrot at the end of the stick, like a belt, interim belt, title shot, contention, of course I'd fight anyone for that, you know, so yes, if he's got the belt, I'd of course I'd fight him, if he's, for, he's got the interim belt, of course I'd fight him, if he's for the one, number one contender spot, of course I'd fight him, so yeah, 100%, that's my job. Sounds good, Brad. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you very much for taking the time. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to talking to you again Appreciate after the fight. Bro. Thank you.